I'd seen the first movie and I knew I had to go back to the first movie. You cannot do a sequel and disregard whatever happens first. Um, even prior to have a very uh, big discussion with Joachim about the design, you know, we met, we, we, we clicked and I started. The first thing for me was like to make sure I, I revisited the first film because I knew there was some crossover. The, the moors was something that we had seen on the first film and there was an aesthetic for it. What was great about this film is although I, I would follow closely the design of the first moors, I had also opportunity to design new things because the world outside the moors is a very different world. The castle is a new castle, the town is a new town, the world of the fae is a new world. Uh, so I thought, you gotta grab the audience there and just make sure they start at the place they left it and feel good about stepping in that movie again. And now we open the adventure. His big thing, Joachim, and I would say the very, very first word was clearly, um, I want this movie to be more realistic. And the scope was also something that was important for him. I mean, Joachim likes big scale world. He wanted to open up the world. And it's very actually understandable as the first movie was cleverly condensed and created in some sort of a bubble where the whole world feels the same everywhere. It feels like you, you know, like a glass bubble. You recall those things you shake with the snow. But that's cool. I think it's a beautiful concept. You look in there and you have a little world in there. That in this world, we clearly wanted to step out of that. So starting there, but just exploring other things. That was very important for him. So we have a castle. The concept of the two towers for me was really uh, the first attempt to try to do something new. It is very often the case in, in Disney movie, it's part of that very strong aesthetic to have a castle that goes to a point, you know, Cinderella, all those, you have a lot of that. And I think that I become a trademark in some ways, I feel. Our castle doesn't steer away from that, but at the end, rather than having one main tower that finishes the castle, it's two of them, symmetrical. And I thought this was giving us a new line in some ways, a new, uh, a new design, a new aesthetic. The scale of the castle was actually really driven by Joachim. I started to paint the castle, I would say what would be a reasonable scale for the castle, and Joachim kept asking me, let's make it bigger, let's build it, let's make it bigger, bigger, bigger. We kept going to a point where we actually went beyond the scale that he has now. And it became really crazy, and we said, well, listen, come on, let's come down a bit. Something that I thought was really important at the beginning is to try to set the tone that when you look at things quickly, they look very friendly and happy. Those statues in the, in the main hall are not scary or sad or anything, but when you look in the detail of them, you realize they're chained, they're never free. So um, there was two options for us. The queen doesn't like nature, anything connected to nature. Okay, so she should have nothing nature in her house, in her place. That's one way to look at it in the castle, but the other way to look at it is to say, Oh no, she has all that, but she has that oppressed and distressed, you know, and that's kind of the idea we, we played with. Uh, the moors first is a world, is a world in itself. You know, there's mountains, there's rivers, there's, it's pretty, it's lovely, it's nature in its, in, in its, in its world that does what it wants. It's, it's flowy, it's gorgeous, and it's organic. It has no restriction, there's no straight lines. It's all soft and curved. That's the world of the moor, the way it was kind of created on the first film. And that's the world we inherited. It's the world I wanted to start playing with. Again, that, that's what's great for me. It's like to bring back people to where they were on the first film. And again, people who love the first one know we didn't neglect it. We didn't go take off to another world from the beginning. We bring them back to where they were. I think Joachim really wants to bring a sense of adventure, a sense of scope and scale. You're traveling through worlds. It's a big world, fantasy world, huge. You go there, oh, well, now it's cold, now it's beautiful, now it's sunny, now it's underwater, now it's this. The sense of like, you know, you have a movie that takes you so many places. I think if people feel that way, and, um, you know, to me, that would be amazing. That's what I would hope, that we've achieved the, the sense of, a, of scope and adventure.